So what makes permeable concrete different than regular concrete is basically just the absence of sand. In regular concrete, it's Portland cement, aggregate, sand, and water. So in this scenario, we have our aggregate material, which is this rock, Portland cement, and no sand, and then just basically adding water, and then our, our color dye. And by not having that sand, it was allows those pores to open up and water flow through it. And since this isn't the most attractive final finish, the top coat is this really small aggregate. An aggregate you would almost never use in regular concrete, unless it's some kind of a decorative application. So this is what gives that fine look, and then we're gonna add the dye to it, which gets that color we want. So this is sort of the chemistry of how the material works. So you may be noticing the high-tech misting unit that Ryan is using behind us. So that's designed to add some moisture to the material so the concrete won't evaporate. It limits cracking and efflorescence in the material. And the shade also keeps the sun off it, keeping the moisture in and allows it to dry and cure slower. So these all help with getting better results and a better final product. Prior to the permeable concrete pour, we prepped our gas line. Once the patio is in place, we're gonna drop a gas fire pit over the top. And this allows us to have that stub out in place to make it easier for that installation. So this happened before the concrete went down. This little yellow wire is just a copper wire with some insulation on it. And that way in the future, you can find the gas line for safety reasons if you need to uh, repair it or make sure you don't hit it for some other kind of construction. That tracer wire allows you to basically use a underground locator to, to find the gas line. 